Hi guys, Wacker here. Uh, let's go over how we navigate within Radiant. So, uh, you can actually plug your game controller in to move around uh, and have a look around Radiant. Or you could use your mouse. So, if I use my mouse, I can hold the right mouse button and spin around. If I push forward, I go forward. If I pull backwards, I go backwards. If I want to angle the way I'm looking at the map, I could use my A and Z key to look up and down. And I can use C to go downwards, or D to go upwards. Uh, I can also use the scroll mouse, uh, scroll scroll wheel on my mouse to go in and out. Uh, you can choose how best you want to navigate the windows, but you need to just get used to those uh, basic ideas. You have two key windows at the start. You have your camera view, and you have your sort of radiant uh, uh, 2D view and, and you can flick between this view on the left hand side if you hold down control and tab it will change the orientation that you're looking at the map um, you'll also notice that we have a grid system so if we zoom out you start to see all the coordinates on here and, and the grids naturally any new map starts in the center if I zoom in we'll find we have a fine grid pattern on here. Now uh, I'm using a, a UK English keyboard um, so we have the square brackets uh, on mine which is next to, to the right of my uh, P key and to the left of my enter key. If we use the square brackets uh, we can change the size of the grid. Um, so if you want really fine detail you can go down to quite a level or you can go out and have really big squares. Now this is important so if you want to draw a really big box you probably want quite a wide grid like that so if I hold down my left button it will start dragging out a box to the size of that grid if we find that is snapping to too large a grid we just make the grid size smaller and it will adjust accordingly uh, we, but we don't want that so I've dragged this I don't want it here it's still selected I'm going to press the delete key above enter it's gone um, so we have a basic floor uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this brush. Uh, I'm going to take this brush and change my view and I'm just going to pull it down one. And I'm going to press space and now it's duplicated and I'm going to put a brush above it and we're going to texture this with some ground surface. So if I press T when it works we'll get a texture window. Now the great thing about this, if you've got multiple multiple screens, three screens would be ideal for making maps. I'm only using this on one screen at the moment. Two screens is really ideal. Three is brilliant. You can hold down on this textures window and you can move it around and you can even pop it out if you want. So I'm just going to move it around to up here for a moment and adjust the size of my screens. You can place it wherever you really want, So, but they do pop out well as nice, which is kind of useful. So there, there it is popped out. If you had another screen, I'd sling it off to the other screen. So we have this uh, extra floor that we created here, but we want some textures to go with it. So if we choose all, uh, usage, well, we really want um, sort of floor so or terrain. We'll go with terrain. So if we choose terrain, let's try and find some textures. Now, not all the textures you'll see here are stock ones, uh, but we'll find a couple of stock ones in a minute. Um, so let's have some cobblestone so we don't want a decal we want a normal texture so I'm going to choose this one so we've got these so I'm going to go for the wet surface we now have a flat brush with a texture on it uh, yeah that's looking a bit better uh, but I also want to put in a bit more detail so I might want to throw a model in so if I press M for model not to be confused with November can think of mother we can then start having a look at models um, there are a lot of models to choose from you can create favorites which is quite handy uh, but in this case we'll just search for one so I think we'll have a wall so there's probably some walls we can use so we need to think which wall are we going to put in uh, so let's find something that we want to use if you see some that are not textured, it's because they haven't fixed all the assets we've currently got. Uh, hopefully by the time you guys get them, uh, they'll look a lot nicer. Um, 
I'm looking for a wall that I want to use. I don't know what I'm going to use. But you never know, when we see it, it'll make sense. Right, here we go. So, yeah, so let's have uh, that church wall. So let's drop it there. So all I've done, I've selected my la le left mouse button and dropped it. Now I've got two. If we, um, in camera view, we can select these walls and move them around. So I'm going to select the back brush, uh, the back wall rather. So I hold down shift and click with my left mouse button. I can now move this wall around by selecting these arrows for up and down and so on. Or I could drag it around in here by holding down my left mouse button. So I'm going to create a bit of a barrier between me and the zombies. Uh, so the zombies are spawning from this point here. There's a point inside that building there and that point there. But I want to sort of fence them off. So I'm actually going to move that over there. And we'll move this one over here. I'm going to look in this view. I'm scrolling in with my mouse button. Uh, we're probably going to want a hole in the wall, so let's drop a hole. Uh, it's a big hole. It's a bit of a bigger wall, but for this we're not going to worry about it. So we'll quickly drag that around to there. Um, I don't think there was a better one to use. No, there isn't. We don't have the, all the assets. So let's select that one, and I'm going to press space to duplicate it, just like we duplicated the brush a minute ago. And I'm basically going to select a couple at a time to speed things up. Line it all up. We're only making a straight wall. Yes, it's boring, but it's quick and easy. Now, the only thing I don't know is if these walls are clipped. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the walls using the shift and just left clicking. And I'm going to press the N for November key. If we get rid of that. I'm going to tell it to use coal map. Now, not everything has a collision map, so you can make your own, or we could draw a clip brush to stop things walking through it. Well, let's just hope they're going to be clipped. So, in theory, uh, the zombies won't be able to walk through it, nor will the player. Obviously, you have to try yourself. If you do walk through it, then you're going to have to manually clip each model that doesn't have any proper clipping on it. Um, our players are spawning around here. And I think, do you know what, we could probably add some FX in. So let's drop some FX in. So if I go to View, Toggle, and we go to FX Browser, I get a new window. So uh, what could we have? Um, there's all sorts of stuff we can have. Um, let's find Smoke Saw is a good one. So let's have a rather large smoke effect. So I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and I'm going to drop it into here. So right here we have some smoke. And really without smoke we probably need something that's burning so we should probably find some fire. So let's find some fire. Um, let's pick this one, don't know if it's any good. Yes yeah, so we've got some fire as well. So we've got two FX. So you can just about see the effects of these two items here. And well, we need something that's actually burning. So let's go back to models. Let's press M for models. Um, we can pick a car. And it's giving me lots of things that I don't really want. Maybe I should put vehicle. Vehicle might be a bit better. No. Sedan. Here we go, I've got a car. Here we go, there's a dead car. So I'm going to drop that into there. I've never tested this model in games, so if it doesn't appear, it causes a problem. Well, uh, it'll be another model that needs to be fixed by Treyarch, but we'll worry about it in a minute. So I'm going to just move that over there. I'm going to take my FX and I'm going to move them over here. And then you bring it over here a little bit. Now you notice the smoke's still over here. 
If I go up to here, I can re-trigger the FX, and now it's in the correct location. It sometimes doesn't automatically go with you when you put it in. But now we've got a bit more of a map, really, now. It's it's quick, it's easy. Uh, we've created some very quick um, detail into it. I wouldn't mind knowing what it looks like in-game, so I'm going to press F9. There are various views. We're in F8 at the moment. If I go to F9, that's uh, camera mode, and I need to rebuild the lighting, so I'm going to click on that and away it goes it's going to look at all the probes and calculate where all the shadows should be uh, it does tax your machine the better graphic card and CPU you got the quicker this will occur if you have a slow machine it will take longer you just have to live with that so there we go we now have a burning car it's not the best FX it's meant to be a Vista FX uh, but let's not worry about that We've got a wall, we've got a broken bit in the wall, and the zombies are going to be around here. So what we need to do is go away and compile and test this. So let's do that. Let's save that. No, I'm not going to export the lighting, but what I am going to do, I'm going to recompile re and do all those. So let's crack on with that. So away this will go. Uh, it'll probably take a little bit longer this time because it has to put all the new uh, detail that I've put into the map. If you see loads of things uh, failing to load, it's because there are assets that aren't in the tools at the moment. Although they do work in games, some of them. Uh, the information you get down here is usually quite useful. Uh, anything critical, it will generally tell you and you'll know why it's not working. Uh, you'll see it converting images. Uh, this is perfectly normal. In fact, the first time uh, you open a map, you'll have probably seen it's converting a load of images the first time. It does take a while. Um, so hopefully this will go on a little bit further and we'll be able to test it. So let's just see how we go. Still linking at the moment. So let's just wait for it for a bit longer. Uh, it's busy converting. I've never put this car in before, which is why it's converting all the images. And you'll find this with everything that you have. Um, it, it does a lot of converting stuff. And a lot goes into this car for a broken sedan. Good grief. Let's just bear with it. I should probably sing a tune again. I keep saying this, but you know, you you would probably need therapy after listening to me sing. So, rather than lose you at this point in time, I'll try not to say too much. That's too dull, too boring. Although somebody said I had a a really um, what was the description of my voice? Morbid voice. Uh, well, maybe it's because I'm actually dead and I am a zombie and I like creating zombie maps. Uh, maybe that's what it is. Who knows? Um, it's still running, it's still running, and we're getting closer. And I think we may well be there. So we're going to test this map now. So we'll click on these. And let's run. And let's see how it looks, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully that car appears, because the problem with a lot of the models that we've been having is they've got so many sub-models sub and sub-bits, we haven't got them all in all the assets. And to be fair to Treyarch, it, it, you know, they couldn't give us them all, because we, we just wouldn't have the storage for it. They, I would imagine, have a shared storage repository that they're all linked to, um, rather than having them on personal uh computers or, or not personal but on the work computers but I don't know I'm only surmising but they must have a hell of a lot of assets and you'd need terabytes of storage for it all and here we go so now we have the walls that we talked about we've got the car we've got the smoke effects we've got the fire effect which doesn't work properly when we're near it because I've chosen the wrong kind of fire effects this was meant to be a vista fire from giants so when you look at some of the burning windows but we won't worry about it now all the zombies come through the walls 
this will tell us whether they are clipped. So the, this is what I was talking about. Not all the models have clipping, so you have to manually clip them. But it's not the end of the world. But at least we're starting to add some detail in. Not all the sounds are working, but I'm not going to worry about that either. And there we go. That's the map that we created. Uh, and that's the end of the second tutorial. As always, any questions, just ask and I'll always try to answer them in the video links. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.